So in today's video, I wanted to talk about something that comes up a lot with my own students and also something that I think just comes up with a lot of us when we're following a creative pursuit, and that is what to do when you feel like you're in a rut, or if you feel like you can't make progress, or if you feel like you don't know what to practice. I'm going to give you some thoughts, some experiences, and what you can do to kind of help alleviate that terrible feeling of feeling like you're not making progress, or that you don't know what to work on, or that there's so many things that you need to work on that you don't know what to work on. Um, because it really is something that I think all of us deal with. I still, unfortunately, I'm sorry to say, deal with it myself as a full-time professional musician. But here's kind of my thoughts about it, because I've recently been in a little bit of a dry spell, and uh, here's what I've been doing to get out of it. So the first thing that I recommend to all of my students is that working on something you're excited about no matter what it is, working on anything is better than working on nothing. So sometimes, and it comes from a good place, but sometimes I feel like we get so obsessed with all of these things that we feel like we should do. Like say we need to practice our scales, we need to practice our arpeggios, we need to practice our chord voicings. And of course, those are all important things. And we should work on all of those. But say you don't know what to work on and you're trying to come up with you know, your perfect roadmap to getting where you want to be. I don't really believe that an absolutely perfect faultless roadmap exists for any of these creative endeavors. I think the most important thing when you're feeling kind of aimless, directionless, and you don't know what to do is to pick something and work on it. Whether it's a favorite song of yours, or you know, your, your favorite guitarist put out a video recently and you're like, oh, what's he doing there? Go learn that, because it will stretch you and it will make you think about things and it'll get you excited about the guitar again in a way that, you know, going, well, okay, I'll go practice my major scales and all 12 keys, maybe doesn't excite you. And again, you should work on your major scales, but when you feel like you can't write anything or you can't play anything or you're not getting better, one of the best things you can do is find new music to learn. Uh, for example, I've recently been going through uh, an incredible jazz guitarist, uh, Tom Allendorf. Um, I absolutely love his playing, but I've been working on these etudes that is... And they're dramatically different than anything else that I would usually play, but they've got me thinking about the guitar, and they've got me thinking particularly about hybrid picking and, and different ways of blending fingers with picks that I haven't. So I ha I've only made it through the first page of his first etude, but it's, I'll play it for you a little slow here. It sounds something like this. <laughs> That was far from perfect because I'm still working on it, but it's got some really, really cool techniques um, where you're hybrid picking and then picking through the rest of the notes. And it's just really, really beautiful and it's been stretching my technique and opening up my mind to new chord voicings because I, that say that opening phrase, that's a really cool way to voice A major nine or A major add nine and we're using an open string, and it's been stretching my brain in terms of thinking about what I can do in my chordal playing in general, and also just, it's a beautiful piece of music. And that's one of the best things that I feel like when we're in a rut, we're maybe missing, is inspiration and guidance from something that we think is beautiful or something we think is the most awesome thing in the world. And so that's usually my go-to whenever I, I feel I'm feeling kind of aimless is I'll check out a tune that I've always loved but never learned and I'll really throw myself into it. And the great thing about learning music that you love is that often that can kind of steer you in a direction of something that you need to work on but maybe haven't been working on and it'll open your eyes to new things. Because again, really at the end of the day, there's so much overlap between so much of our technique and what we're working on where when you go through a new piece of music, you'll find different ways to apply or different things that you can think about what you should be working on or what you want to be working on. And it's a really, really constructive way to get out of, get out of a rut. Another thing that I like to do when I'm in a rut is you can allow yourself to, to take a day off, but be maybe mindful in that day off. Because I feel like, especially in the modern era, it's tricky to get away from phones and we guilt trip ourselves when we aren't doing what we want to be doing even though we don't have the mental energy to do it. 
And so one of my favorite things to do is I'll take a walk and listen to some music or I'll even just sit on the couch and listen to music. I'll go through uh, Apple Music's, you know, uh, jazz playlists or, or whatever it is and see if I find some new music. Or I'll go check out a record that I haven't checked out before. And that can often be enough to inspire either some new ideas for you or get you, you know, wanting to pick up the guitar again, whatever it is. But when you take a break, that doesn't necessarily mean lay on the couch and scroll through Instagram. It means actively give yourself the space to pursue new endeavors, listen to things, or just to rest and recharge. Like take a walk and listen to some music. Cook a meal and listen to some music. Sit down on the couch and listen to some music. Or in my case, often cuddle with one of my cats and listen to some music. But getting some new kind of input and enjoying that has been a really, really good way for me to get out of a rut. And then my last little bit of advice for getting out of a rut or starting to find, picking something to work on again is to just pick up the guitar and pick something. Because I've always found that the hardest part, even, again, as a professional musician, there's days where I kind of want to hang out on the couch and not go pick up a guitar is that once you actually go through the act of picking up the guitar and putting it in your hands, things will start to happen. The guitar is cool, music is such a wonderful thing. Anything that you work on, again, even if you're just like, I'm gonna pick up my guitar and I'm just gonna play some, some chords. I'm already inspired because it's a beautiful, beautiful sound. And then I'll go, oh, maybe there was this tune I was checking out the other day, and I'll play through that tune or whatever. And then it shows ways to work on things and ways to get back into it. But the hardest part is just picking up the damn thing. Once you've picked up the damn thing, it's easy to get sucked in. The guitar and music is so cool, you'll get soaked up in it, and you'll easily pass half an hour to an hour of productive-ish practice time. But that's... That's one thing that I find when students are really kind of feeling burnt out is they, I, I think really what happens when we get into a rut is we are kind of boxing ourselves in and feel like we have to be on this certain path and that kind of takes the, the joy out of what we're doing. So doing anything on the guitar pretty much can be a good conduit to getting into some productive practice. So my kind of tips, check out a new piece of music or a new song, whatever it may be, because anything is better than nothing. Uh, if you need a day where you're totally burnt out, I don't know, crazy stuff happens in life, you got work, you maybe have kids, you maybe have whatever it may be, just listen to some new music and see if any, if any of it inspires you. Or some old music, actually. I started playing the guitar because of uh, Slash and Guitar Hero 3, and so sometimes when I'm feeling burnt out, and not like practicing, I'll, I'll listen to some tracks off of Appetite for Destruction and it'll, it's kind of like, you know, a nice reminiscence and it'll inspire something in me to go either play those riffs on the guitar and then the guitar's in my hand and I go do something uh, with it. But that can be a really, really productive way. It's just taking some time to check out some new music or listen to music in a thoughtful way. Because a lot of the time I feel like now it's easier than ever to listen to music completely passively and not super actively like most of us probably did when we first got inspired to pick up the guitar. And then again, the last tip is just to pick up the guitar and see what happens without going, I need to do this, 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 and this. Because again, that can be really productive and good on some days, but on other days thinking that you have to do this 100% set in stone, locked in routine to try and follow your perfect path to guitar shred uh, wizardry is actually the thing that will prevent you from picking up the guitar. So let me know in the comments if, if any of this resonated with you or if, if you have any tips for people who are in a rut. I'm really curious to hear as to what you guys might do. But if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. It truly helps me out more than you could know. I've got links down in the description to my video courses and my educational book. Uh, if you want to check those out, there's a link down there to support me and this channel on Patreon. If you want to support me putting out these ed free educational videos and also help support this channel, I'd really appreciate it. You can also find a link to book guitar lessons with me. I'd absolutely love to work with you on whatever's troubling you on the guitar. And last but not least, I've got new videos coming out every single week. I hope to see you in the next one. And until I do, I wish you a wonderful day. And I hope you have some fun playing the guitar.